how to use BeFunky. Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use BeFunky to edit your photos or make graphic designs online for free. We'll start off by going to BeFunky.com, as you can see at the top here. Once you're here, you will see this website. On here, you want to click the Get Started button in the center left, which will open up this pop-up, which says, what would you like to do today? You can do edit a photo, so photo effects and tools for enhancing your photos. You can combine multiple photos into one with a grid layout, so you can create a collage. Templates for creating banners, flyers, cards, and more. So you can create a design, for example, a gift card. Now what we're going to do is edit a photo today, so click edit a photo. Now, I've already uploaded this or this uh, stock photo within Be Funky, so I opened that up. We can also change it to this dog. There we go. Make this bigger. There we go. Now we have this dog. You can also open at the top and then upload from your computer. Take Be Funky, Google Drive, Google Photos stock images from Facebook, Dropbox, or you can even take a picture using your webcam, then upload those. Now, in order to edit your photos on the left here, you can see all these different things. There's the image manager, which we just used, which you can use to import different pictures for design purposes and whatnot. Then you can click edit, touch up, effects, artsy, frames, graphics, overlays, text, and textures. We'll start off by going to edit and on here there's the AI image enhancer which you can click which will now enhance the image itself. For some reason it enhanced the first image not the one we added but that's okay. As you can see this now added a bunch of filters and if we turn this down you can see the difference. Look how dull this is. Look at the, the walls especially over here. Now this made it uh, look way better, but we can cancel this and do these things ourselves. As you can see, enhance the XL. These are all for the paid version only, which you can upgrade in the top right here. But under essentials, you can crop, resize, rotate. You can change the exposure, which we're gonna do. If we do change the brightness a bit, let's say 10, then the contrast, there we go. Contrast to 30, let's say. Highlights, make it a bit darker, and then add a couple of shadows. There we go, minus seven. Click apply. Now, let's just delete this picture. Now, as you can see, our background now changed in exposure. Fill light out and hands are not possible. You can click beautify. You can now change the amount by enhancing this you change a couple of settings now you can change color so hue saturation and temperature as you can see over here when changing the hue we're changing the atmosphere of the picture saturation if we go down, this is black and white. If you go up, this is just red. So we can find a nice middle ground and then change the temperature. If we go to the blue side, it gets a bit more gloomy and dark. If you go to the bright side, it gets this sunny vibe. So let's put seven. Now let's put five. Now sharpen. You can sharpen some the edges, but that's nothing we want to do because as you can see, this makes it look kind of fake. So cancel. Now under here, blur and smooth. You can smooth things out and blur things out. You can also soften and blur edges. And then there's miscellaneous. You can tilt, tint, and color mix. So if we adjust the color mixer, as you can see, we changed a couple of things, but that's not necessary in this case, I think. The next step would be to touch up, but this is for faces mostly as you can see blemish fix as you can see you can use it to reduce 
pimples on your face. So this is nothing for a city image of Venice that we're seeing here. But this is for you to use. As you can see, you can do teeth whitening. So your teeth are whiter. This is pretty much just for you changing the look of your selfies and whatnot. Then there's effects. You can do warmer tones, as you can see here. There are warmer tones you can choose from. Let's choose this one. And then the picture looks like this. You can cancel it. So these are pretty much presets you can use or templates in order to change the look of your photo. I pretty much like the way ours looks right now. Then there's Artsy, which you can use to change your picture into something different. As you can see, underpainting. And then you can choose underpainting one or two. For example, as you can see, it's now preparing. These sadly are only in the upgrade version though. Now this might take some time, but as you can see, this now made it look like a painting, which is also pretty cool as an effect itself. You can change this up. Now all these are pretty much like this. You can do poly art, as you can see, we choose poly art one. This is now artifying our picture. And now our picture looks like it's built out of polygons, which is an absolutely crazy aesthetic, I think. Now the next one would be to frame. You can add a frame around your picture. Let's do border. And now as you can see, we have framed our picture. There are different ones, decorative. Let's just choose the first one. And you can see we've added this decorative frame around our picture. Now we can add graphics. We can import them from our computer, search graphics or use basic ones like an arrow, for example. You can then rotate it, clicking the top icon here, and then rotate it. You can change its size. We can give it a drop shadow. We can do opacity 100. And then distance. It's a good distance. Blur. And then size. As you can see, weight. Now, if we don't want this, click and then we can click the delete button over here, this trash can. Now the shape has been deleted. Below here, you can see the graphics you have uploaded. The next one would be overlays, as you can see. Let's use animals. And you can see you overlay the picture with an animal cut out so if you have a picture that resembles something you can have an overlay over you can use these as you can see the different ones is that a unicorn a horse a dinosaur fish and all these kind of things a bone a paw and all these things you can add text obviously as you can see here let's say you want to do a menu for your coffee shop now you can add coffee and then there's Americano 350, Cappuccino 4, Macchiato 3. So you can drag it. And there you go. This would be how your menu looks. You obviously need a better background for that, but you can also add a heading. There you go. Double click, change it to Choco. There you go. You now want to make this bigger so that the E is also on there. There you go. Drag this down, drag the heading closer. Then you can do chocolate coffee. And the last one would be textures. You can now add textures like light trails. As you can see here, let's use light trails 4. And then you have added these effects. Now, once you're happy with that, you can click save, computer, and then you choose the quality, always 100%, JPEG, PNG, or PDF for print and web. The PNG would be the highest 
quality image, you can use a watermark for which you can create a watermark template so that no one steals your pictures on the internet. You can then change the file name to chocolate coffee be funky and you can then hit save and save it to your computer that's how to use be funky i hope this video could help you out if it did please leave a like if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and subscribe i'll see you in the next one bye